also this one it consign um, the federal government and the recruitment that they do for inside the Nigerian Immigration Service. Now the Civil Defense Correctional Fire and Immigration Services Board, where now they under the federal government and are then they in charge of the paramilitary service. They said they don't stop or they don't bar persons where they stammer. Person will be like say the teeth arrangement, you know, they well at all at all. They don't ban them from applying for certain positions where they're available on top of the ongoing Nigerian Immigration Service recruitment exercise. Now, not only then they bow, they talk to some other people too, they're not supposed, they're not eligible, they're not legible. Um, I mean, they're not supposed to apply for the job where they don't put for inside there, especially certain positions like the superintendent position, the inspectorate position, and including the assistant cadet um, position. They say these people, they're not supposed to apply for them. Some other people, where they, where they're not even supposed to apply for, if you're in this category, they, they come outside the talk, say, you're not supposed to apply for this job. They say, now, anybody will get cross eye, anybody will get bow leg, anybody will get knock knee, anybody will get flat foot, anybody will get limp leg, or you just suffer from obesity. They say, these people, they're not supposed to apply for certain positions on top of the ongoing Nigerian Immigration Service recruitment. Now, they'll be disclosed this one for inside one secular, will be decided by the Secretary on Top Civil Defense, Correctional, Fire and Immigration Services Board, will be Al Hassan Yakmot on Friday. Now, according to them, amputation of any part of the body, the physical body, hearing impairment, that would mean say you hear half and half, on your back, medical challenges, any other physical deformities not mentioned, they say this one, uh, now because of the rigorous exercise, physical exercise, where the recruitment process go make you go through that now why they don't want these people in this category. They say woman say if we get belly, you're not supposed to apply. Now according to the doc document, those where they apply for the superintendent rank, they must get medical degree and they're supposed to don't complete their NYSC program as at the time where they apply. Anybody where they apply for the deputy superintendent rank, they say you must to get a degree in pharmacy. Yay. While those where they apply for the assistant superintendent position, they say they must get a minimum of first degree and they suppose don't complete the NYSC. Applicants, you must be Nigerian by birth. You must have national identity number. You must be medically fit. You must to even present a certificate of medical fitness from a governor hus government hospital and you must be of good character. If you be a man, where they apply for this work, they say you need to be of a particular height. You need to be about five feet and four inches tall. And if you be female, you're supposed to be at least five feet and two inches tall. Now, so they come outside, they give us information on top of this particular application where they ongoing for inside the Nigerian Immigration um, Service right now, where they don't put the category of people that they expect. And people that they expect, they also put her out. And then they come out, they explain to us, say the reason why they don't want those category of people, now because of the physical exercise we will go through, um, they call them rigorous. Oh, I mean, say the exercise will shake your body where, where. And if you're in any of this category, you know, go fit to bring out the best what you get for inside yourself. To enjoy more of this, our Ogun get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.